Hello everybody and welcome back to the Celtic Throne. Now, as we can see, we do have a few counties here. A little Viking King just declared war on us, but he kind of like collapsed again over here. So no idea why, but it seems like, yep, he's defending against Duke Enzo right now. And it does not look good for him. So at the moment, this Duke is in the war score plus two. So that's probably why he abandoned the... Well, conquest of Connor for now. That was that. So we are a bit lucky here. I think he's going for us again though in the future. So we need to be very careful about that. Now the other thing that we have is Ormond. Ormond is the last part of my duchy that I want to create here. The duchy of Munster. Which would be our first major goal. Um, we've also just gotten of age. As we can see we're 18. We have a wife. Not the most beautiful one I think. But still she's fine I guess. She's 20, 22. So perfect for making babies and scootly pooping around. And in that case, we still want this guy here now, right? So Ormond. Um, that is the prince that has it. So we might conquer the county with the goal of conquering Ormond. We might invest the prestige in that. Um, he's inferior, right? So we could win this one. He's got no allies and he's totally on his own. Now, before I do that, I do need prestige. How do I get it? By creating the duchy title finally. Becoming the Duchy of Munster is my most important goal. So there we have it. Um, the Earldom of Thomond and the Earldom of Thomond belongs to the Duchy of Munster. That would be this and we do have two counties and we do have the money for it. And this would give us 300 prestige because we would finally have a, a Duchy title, right? Our first one. And let's create it. And we are now a mighty high chieftain. So we've climbed the ladder. Um, in that case, we get the prestige that we need. First of all, what I could do is with that prestige, I could increase the size of my army right away. Let's do that with the bowmen at least, right? So get a few bowmen out of it. Um, and what we can do now is, as long as he's not allied with anyone, um, we might just declare war on him, right? Conquer his county um, and conquer Ormond. We can afford it now. And there we have the war. Let's raise the army. 1,600 souls that we have. And let's just go for his territory right away. It's important if you have war against someone that is, you know, the leech of someone to conquer or to destroy that leech directly. At the same time, what he's doing is he's conquering my territory. Caesar's triumph while studying the tactics of ancient generals. I was amused to learn about Julius Caesar. You're studying tactics while waging war? What is going on? During his siege of a leisure, Caesar determined that direct assault on the well-fortified city would be too costly. He instead ordered his army built his own fortress which surrounded the entire city, trapping the enemy garrison inside to starve while simultaneously prevent reinforcements from relieving the defenders. Um, we get the trade military engineer, very good for... Or we get the trade reckless, no let's go with the engineer, because this will boost our siege progress that we can have on something what i want to do is i want to surprise them though we can still take them out and there we have them there's the battle of luminac and we should win this one my chancellor has been wounded by that and there we've slain them we've won that let's take back our garrison or our fort and then we're going to capture the rest of him so that should be possible we've also gained a new trait um, Bellum just Justum would give us the Casus Belli cost minus 50, which is pretty important. Or also here, Control Growth and Natural Dread. Now, Dread is something that grows and that makes us fearful for our vassals. They're less likely to, um, well, revolt, but we don't have any vassals really yet. So I'm actually going with the Bellum Justum because this gives me um, a nice boost to my armies later that I want. Like Hit and Run, for example, Archer damage plus 30% and Heavy Infantry damage plus 15%. So that is pretty useful. Now, we're taking it. As we can see, he's not giving up though entirely. He's still getting other things here. Let's destroy his army once more. It's pretty low now. There they are. Ah, and finally my wife, High Chief, this Gerberg. <laughs> That's a name. She is pregnant. So we are waiting a child. Very important. Right, there we've taken, or there we've defeated the army for good now. My Chancellor Selen has worked hard to convince our neighboring realms and vassals that the peace treaty I entered with Flanagan is flawed. Who's that? Here. Okay, we could attack him right away as well. So the truce is over in that case. Let's get over there. We've lost someone in the council, the steward. 
let's assign a new one. We have bad stewards right now. It's going to be one of our champions, but holy moly, he's bad. Let's have him just develop our county. That is pretty important for later. Look at that, he's trying it again. What is going on with you? You barely have any man left. Can I finally kill all of them? Nope. There's still some left. And we got an heir. Very good. Let's just see if we get a good name out of it. Gregory, Samuel, Job, Salvador, Daniel, Christian, Benedict, Magnus. Once again, we have a Magnus. The last Magnus was quite successful. So this might be also quite successful one. A scandalous priest, the insular world was shocked to learn that my bishop, Sexnanesek, was caught in flagrant delicto. In flagrante delicto, with several young servants in his home. The poor aide who discovered them had to avert his eyes while the culprits rushed to grab their clothes and get dressed. <laughs> Let's condemn him. We would gain 100 piety. We would lose, though, 30 opinion of our bishop. Or we defend him. We would have to spend quite a lot of things. No, let's condemn him. We get a bit of piety, but we definitely lose the realm priest forever, most likely. Alright, as we can see, he's still trying to attack something. Let's take his hometown there as well. He's not even able to get anything anymore, right? So he's got so few people. Uh, soldiers that he's not even able to um, siege, lay siege to something. That we've taken his hometown and that's it. We can enforce our demands. We gain 75 fame with that and my allies get 75 prestige out of this. To the hysterical high chieftain Augustine, may wisdom ever elude you, you are much greater foe than I imagined. Alright, my glory is widely known because of that. We've won and we have Ormond now. We have now quite a big realm as we can see and we are the the Duke of Munster. Um, we also have now, well, one too many holdings. So this means that we need to have our first vassal. Let's just track my son here real quick. Magnus, there he is, age of one. He still needs a guardian. Let's educate him. We're doing that ourselves. So he's now, he's got a ward that makes him good, that makes him getting traits now. And as we can see, he's already got something in learning and diplomacy. Other than that, he's empty yet. We are quite full already. We, we are very good at, yeah, waging war, basically. Um, we've also, once again, oh, we lost two people there. Huh. All right, but lucky for us, we got a very interesting personality there right now. Blind. Selah MacDungal. He's 30, he's a wanderer, and he's at our court at the moment. He's visiting. So we might get him. Let's recruit him. Oh, that costs money. We cannot recruit him at the moment. We still we need to lay down our army. So now we get some money again. Hopefully he stays at the court for a bit of time. Right? Marshall wise, we do have a good one. Arnie. Now Arnie, he is my marshal and champion. He's pretty good. So it might just be that we actually give him Connor. He's 43, he's got a wife, he's got children, so, and one of them is my champion as well. So this is a good prerogative here that we can use him as the Earldom of Connacht. We give it to him, we have then again one holding less, which is good. So if we have too many holdings, more than our limit, um, the limit is by the way decided by my stewardship level for example. If we are higher than that, um, first of all we lose the efficiency, and second of all my other people in my court wouldn't like me anymore because they think that I'm greedy or something like that. So let's give him Connach for that. He's got it and he's my very first vassal. That means now that he needs to have a permanent position in my council otherwise he will be very unhappy and other than that yeah he's giving me levies now and as we can see he's building them up now. So if someone like the Vikings come back at me again for taking Connach well then it's his business and I'm going to help him most likely. Um, stuff like that. Let's have a look at my perks there. We do have the skirmisher damage plus 20%. That's good because I have so many light footmen. Um, this will improve the damage of my army there a bit. Now, we still have the Chancellor. I don't have the money to recruit anyone. And I don't have any other person on my court right now. What we can do, I can have my Marshal train commanders. This will give me occasionally a new person that sometimes perhaps has a bit of diplomacy skills there. My wifey, she is very good at intrigue. So she's going to help me at court intrigue. 
And speaking of intrigue, my spy master will disrupt schemes. Oh, can we find some secrets? Yeah, there's actually a 55% chance of learning a secret in the Duchy of Monster. Let's do that as well. Next up, we would have the Oldham of Astori. He's got no air. He's really, really weak. Like, seriously, he's extremely weak. So, I think I will just go for him. Declare a war. There's no other way to say this, but he's so weak that we have to take him before someone else does. Because someone else is going to take him otherwise. Let's lay siege to him. He's going for my main capital, but of course, he's got so few soldiers that that's not going to happen. And there we've got it, 100%. So we are just going to make this a quick business. And we got it. Right, that was rather quick. And thus we have increased the size now of our terrain of monster. And once again, my holdings are bigger than what I can actually have. So in this case, I'm going to try to have managed domain. This actually, yep, very good. Despite my wife being quite weak, stewardship is poor. Still, with that, I do get another holding limit. So I have five of five holdings now. So I don't need to have another vassal, which is just totally worth it. All right, we still have the empty council position, which is really bad for now. Yeah, Dublin is out of reach for now, but that's fine. Um, Our court, we might just do something right it's getting a bit boring but as we can see beautiful right we could create the duchy of connach now i think oh no there's still something else there's still this one here um despite our best efforts my agents have yet to uncover any secrets let's continue with that faction created against you wait a second why do we have a faction against us a peasant Revolt is building up, but peasant revolts are usually very weak. We've also gained the trade ill. High chief, no peasant, high or low. Send for the physician. Do we have a physician? No, we don't have one. Alright, so we do have those two for a choice here. So this one cost me 50. This one costs 15. Um, we cannot afford the 50. We would be bankrupt. So let's go with the 15 and hope that she's good too. Um, the time has come to treat your cold. While I'm fairly certain a simple tincture would suffice, the choice is yours. Do more when it's necessary. She's also got good diplomacy, so I might give her a chancellor position. Can we do that? No, we cannot do that. But we got a new champion, and we can assign him. Right, so... Sorka lowered her hand into the bucket she brought to my chambers. When she pulled it out again... Um, a little fish was wriggling between her fingers. Open wide, she said, and dropped it into my mouth. I struggled not to retch as it tickled the back of my throat. Whatever was in that fish turned out to be just what I needed. Oof, wow, <laughs> a fish helped us. We get the reduced disease symptoms for one year. So at least one year we saved with that. We're all in that, but that should not be for long. And yeah, we have a bishop here right now who is not that happy. Um, usually I would like to have him as a, a point court physician. He would be very happy with that. He's good at learning. Let's do that. Oh, that costs me 10 again. I don't have money. I stumbled upon my Marshal Arnie crouching beside my dog, Ray vigorously scratching his stomach. Alright, and we get 20 opinion boost with him because he likes our dog and we like that someone likes our dog. And we lost ill. As I woke this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. And look at us. We're looking good, right? 23, healthy, good martial skills. We have a claim on Meath. Other than that, our realm is absolutely fine at the moment. The only thing that we might need is a bit of money, perhaps. Oh, there is never a quiet moment. My son and heir Magnus is so full of questions. I do my best to encourage his curiosity, but sometimes I cannot help but get exhausted by the constant stream of thought and queries. And he gets the trade Curious, which I guess is a pretty good trade. Let's just have a look at that. Yeah, Diplomacy and Learning plus one again. So he's probably going to be a learner, real one. Let's continue. Oh. Geburg murdered my mother? I've exposed that secret. Why would you do that, Chiefess? My wife murdered my mother. Alright, they really didn't like each other, it seems. 
Now, we do get a bit of money. We Oh, and she's pregnant again. Very good. What we could do, since it's still the tribal age, we might raise my army as raiders. Right, so I've got 1,600 soldiers now. I could raid my neighbors with that and get a bit of money out of it. I would only do that if my neighbors are weak. What I've also learned from the Vikings is that this... Yeah, well, they're a bit strong, though. Usually, they're pretty weak down here in Spain. And, oh no, we lost the child. Nothing I can do about it. We need to find some weak stuff here. So, this guy is pretty weak. The one that we just defeated. And he's got some money. What? I'm unable to raid across sea. Oh no. Alright, then let's raid my neighbors. Right, let's raid this guy here in Leinster. There we got it. Let's get away from there again before the army comes back. We still have this one here to raid. That's a bit of it. And there is a bit of money to be had. That's it. Right? Actually, we cannot raid more than that. Nope. Alright, we cannot find any secrets anymore as well. So this is something we need to do. A bit of money. That's better than nothing. Suspend my army again. So this was just uh, my my surroundings here. That are raided now. Um, another perk... I would really like to have something like stewardship right now for the money. Um, let's get with organized march. Then my troops are 15% faster. That is pretty good. It's good for running away if there is a, well, bigger foe than us. And, oh, my my dog is doing trouble again. Chieftain Arnie approaches me, rage in his eyes and dog in his hand dragged along by the scruff of his neck. As he reaches me, I see that it is my dear Grey he's holding. I found this beast among my things. What wasn't due to bits was covered in excrement. He's just a dog. We cannot afford to compensate him. So we lose the 20 opinion again, but he still loves us. My marshal and my vassal of Connach as well. Alright, we got the loot. 19 gold and 19 prestige. We still have way too few champions, so hopefully my marshal finds me some new ones there as well. Yes, and my spy master is still not finding anything. Let's just have a look. This guy here is pretty weak, right? Yeah, he's weak. Wait a second. Does he not have a leech? Nope. He's also got no allies. And we got a new a new um, champion here. Very good. Yeah, he shall serve at my court. He's sterile. Oh, poor soul. Let's relieve him from his misery, right? We can conquer him. It's that simple. I mean, usually I'm not for going to war all the time. But it's that simple at the moment. It seems to me at least. And we are playing on normal difficulty here. So the highest you can go. Bishop Murnach has become a symbol of God's infinite forgiveness. Always ready to offer a helping hand and open mind to the ones in need. Murnach has been instrumental in keeping alive the insular pre precept that no one is ever truly innocent. And therefore no one can pass judgment. Um, insular Christianity fervor is increased by 10. Um, that reminds me. My bishop... That's the, my new bishop here. He likes me, so we are endorsed by him. He's got good learning skills, so I want to have him as my court physician. Right, so this costs me the 10 coin. Um, but in that case, he's good, so whenever I'm sick, he will help us. Plus, this also increases our opinion with him further. Right, the war continues. We are, we, we are laying siege now, right now, to whatever we are laying siege here. What is that? The tribe of Domahair and Dromahair is the county or the holding here that we are laying siege right now. My dog um, has disrupted the council and we have to decide does he want to join still or a dog has no place in a council. Everyone loses five opinion of us. That's fine. My dog joins my council. And I'm sorry, High Chieftain Augustine says my spy master Cumin. I have to disagree with what you just and grew. Grey gives a guttural growl and Cumin jerks back, looking from the dog to me and back again. On second thought, I think it is a great idea. And we actually get 75 prestige out of this. Very good. And we got a daughter. Christina, she is called. And Christina, she will also have me as a guardian. Oh, she's not looking that smart or happy let's educate the child 
Um, does it have to be us? I think it has to be us. That's fine. There, we've taken it. Oh, we're still only at 48%. So where's the pal that we are waging war against right now? The secret is not going to work. Let's disrupt schemes. Oh, he's up here in Iceland. He's actually an Iceland duke or whatever. And he's far away, so we have to sail all the way to Iceland now. To kill him, or well, to defeat him there. And only then will we win. Run away, I'm out riding with my dog Ray beside me when he suddenly runs off into the wetlands. My retinue assures me he will come back. Alright, I will be patient. And eventually Grames comes trotting back, pretending that nothing is wrong. And we get two coin out of that. We've been burdened by oppressive laws for far too long. No more, we are done paying you taxes. Once your coffers dry up and your larders are empty. Very bad time to make a peasant revolt against me, pal. Because I do have a raised army at the moment. Alright, and there we have it. We actually took someone prison there as well. That is important. His sister. And we can enforce the demands. And thus, Iceland belongs to us now, and Brafne belongs to us now. That is pretty cool. So we've totally taken him in there. Or did we? No, that still belongs to him. So in that case, that was the wrong uh, objective again. Now, that is another thing that is a bit annoying at the moment. Whenever you wage war against someone, like I want to declare war on him. Let's just show that real quick, because this is annoying and it's happening all the time. What is happening here is, if I declare war on someone, there is this objective, right? And this objective here is usually not what is the closest to you, but what is the farthest away from you. So in that case, we took Iceland. <laughs> or we took a part of Iceland, at least. It's not bad, you know, because this guy's still weak, so we're going to get this one anyway. And I was thinking of getting Iceland, actually, because Iceland is really weak. So it's not the way worst thing that happens. But it's still, once again, a misconception here. And we've taken the wrong county. Um, oh no. The plague. A killer in our midst. Death has raised his scythe over my realm. The plague has arrived. The unlucky man is Sigdur, a prisoner. Sigurd. The taint possessing his flesh is a danger. Look at this poor soul. It's the bubonic plague. Isolate him and pray for redemption. That's all we can do, really. I'm not going to throw him out because then he would probably infect others. We also have a new perk. This gives me something very good. Hit and run. Archer damage plus 30%. We don't have that much heavy infantry at the moment. But the archer damage bonus is really nice. And we do have them. Now we have a truce now with Chieftain Gare. And that means that I cannot attack him for quite some time. Right. So we will need to have my Chancellor... Or is it my bishop? No, it's my chancellor with the foreign affairs to get rid of the shorten the enemy truce. This is a possible side effect um, depending on his skill. We don't have a very good skill though here. Alright, the play. Yet another soul stands at death's door. The dreaded boobos marrying, marring the skin. My poor daughter, Christina, is fine. Oh no, my daughter eh, has the plague. The taint possessing her flesh is a danger to us all while she remains afflicted. No life at court is safe. The physician wants to know how my daughter should be treated. Be cautious, but do more what is necessary. Do no more. Okay, so she survives another year at least. Perhaps she gets cured. Who knows? I hope my son is not getting infected by that. We have the plague at the moment. That is sick. And it has become a habit to walk great daily, and I'm not sure which of us enjoy the fresh air and the sun the most. Um, and we're getting the walking dog trade, so we are really, well, friendly with our dog here. Alright, the plague is waging, the plague is waging, and in that case, also, we've taken a part of Iceland. We might give mo this part here, which is Raida Fjall. Um, we give that to some new vassal that we have, right? So we have um, way too many holdings at the moment. So giving it to one of my champions, especially with martial skill. This guy, for example, we could grant him that. 
Let's do that. It's Ostis land, this one. And he, he, he becomes now my new vassal up here. Our holdings is fine again. This guy though now, and he's got very good martial skills, so that's why I took him. We can take him now as our marshal, right? Because then he's happy with it. So this is our new marshal. Look at how happy he is. We're still going to recruit more commanders. And my chieftain here, the other vassal, is going to be my chancellor. Just going to work at that. And he's really happy with that as well. So we have those two vassals now. And both of them are happy at least for the moment. Because they have a council position. I like this system. It's good. So as long as I keep them happy. This makes it very complicated though once we have more than four vassals. Because we only have four council positions available. So far we are alive. We're waiting for the truce here to end in, in two years. And then we could take him. And on the other part, we got a, a bit of Iceland now as well, which is yeah, not the worst thing, I guess. So it might be our retreat if things in Ireland get hot and we have to flee the scene or something like that. What you can also see is that Sweden is taking part now in Ireland, that we have the Kingdom of Sweden now entering. Also pretty interesting. We'll see what happens out of this. Stay tuned. <laughs>